Hi, uh, my name is uh, Lim Boon Kui. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Dusit Hotels and Resorts. Good morning, and thank you very much for talking to Frankie Travel News today. Uh, we're here at Thai TV Berlin, the, uh, the world's largest travel trade show. How important is it for yourself and Dusit to, uh, to participate in events such as this? Well, uh, ITB is a very, very important travel event and it's the biggest travel event in the world. And uh, we, we have a huge uh, market uh, contribution from Europe uh, for our 28 operating properties. And uh, it's important that we come here to meet face-to-face uh, -face with our clients, uh, to thank them and of course to ask for more business. <laughs> Properties have been creating uh, quite a few headlines. Do you sit down in uh, Bangkok, one of your flagship properties? I know there's a lot of investment planned for that hotel, but it's been delayed slightly. Yes, uh, our Dusitani Bangkok uh, is our flagship property in, uh, in Thailand for the last 50 years. Uh, there's a slight delay in terms of uh, the redevelopment uh, schedule because uh, we want to ensure that uh, ourselves and our partners uh, given more time to plan uh, a little bit ahead and uh, to see basically what's the best uh, design, what's the, the best consideration for the product that we have for this particular hotel. And uh, we are still going to be operating the hotel until January the 5th, 2019. Then uh, we will close the hotel and uh, it will take about three years to redevelop this property and you open still as a Dusitani Bangkok. Of course, it's uh, going to be a completely new building. Uh, we will retain the Thai heritage in terms of architecture, in terms of interior design, and of course, most importantly, our graciousness in service. Um, how would you describe the mood in Thai tourism at present? Would you say it's a positive time for the destination? Absolutely. I think uh, uh, Thailand tourism is uh, still on a very, very uh, comfortable uh, growth path. Uh, our arrivals in, into Thailand has been, has been growing and this year we're expecting to grow to at least 35 million uh, uh, visitors to Thailand. And uh, we believe that in the many years to come, you'll continue to grow. You've been growing internationally as well, as being a property in the Middle East. And yes, Bahrain. yes. Have you settled on, uh, on that destination? We, five years ago, we wanted to increase our footprint across the globe and uh, the Middle East is a major it's a major source market for us uh, in terms of arrivals into our properties and at the same time too uh, it's important to plant our our flags in the GCC area uh, to gain more exposure to let uh, the customers in the GCC area to understand our brands and yes, we're going to be opening our Dusit D2 Bahrain by the end of this year. Uh, and why are we in Bahrain? It's primarily because Bahrain is a major gateway uh, for a lot of the customers from Saudi Arabia. Getting into Bahrain, you know, uh, uh, spending a lot of time in, in, in Bahrain. And uh, we would like to attract a, a, a lot more GCC customers into into uh, Thailand and to other properties around the world. Uh, breaking travel news based in London here in Europe. I'm not disappointed Mr. Pratik Kumar um, to lead your sales operations here. Does that show a uh, refocusing of the, the importance of this area? Uh, in fact, we, we have been uh, wanting to appoint somebody in uh, the EMEA. Uh, Pratik is our head of operations in uh, the EMEA and of course sales is also a very important function of the, the region. Uh, we have been growing and uh, it has come to a time whereby we want to put somebody uh, to be in charge of the region operationally and also to provide a lot more focus for our owners in the region uh, to, ser to service them, to support them and uh, of course at the end of the day is the exposure of our brands and uh, the brands will need people to support it and Pratik is heading that uh, operational support as well as the sales support for the region.